Okay, hey guys, RC Flying Guy 2. Um, while I was flying outside my house today, a once in a lifetime uh, happening occurred. Um, I was flying, <clears throat> and uh, a bird hit me. Uh, I was flying, just, uh, I'll take you outside in a little bit to show you exactly what happened. But uh, I was flying this way. I'll use this random piece of stick. I was flying this way over some uh, trees because I was right here. I was flying this way. And all of a sudden, this bird came directly this way, clipped my wing, but surprisingly, there was no damage done to the wing. Uh, and then my thing went spiraling out of control and actually went full speed into the roof of another person's house. Um, after we figured out, uh, I went up there, because that's where that big smashing happened. I went up there, I got my plane pieces, and they were outside, like, what in God's name just hit my roof? You know, because it was pretty loud, I didn't have it on camera. Uh, so I went up there and explained to them, and, uh, you know, they didn't file any lawsuits of what, whatnot. But, uh, yeah. So the damage done. While in air, and I clipped the wing, uh, clipped the bird, there was, uh, little to no damage done on the wing service area itself. It's still a smooth leading edge out there. It's still, uh, completely fine. So the, I don't need to get a new wing at all. Uh, next piece of it, the only dents I had... Are those little dents right there? But I can fix those a little bit. Now the big thing is happening is this canopy went flying off the plane when it hit the roof, and the inside is where it looks pretty sketch or uh, scary, but not much is happening. So this is just the battery to keep it down. Yes. So here's the inside. I just have this stuff holding it down. So here's like you know the regular the regular plane, uh, but somehow this entire capsule is off. So the plane looks like this on the belly. Uh, so that is this, obviously the fuselage. I'm going to buy a new fuselage, and that is it. I could glue it back because it is such a clean cut. It fits right, right back in the hole. But then I have to deal with this mess up here. Uh, the only damage done, like I said, is this missing part right here. This is usually covered with a piece of foam. That's gone, and right there, there's a crack. So it kind of looks like this all together and off. The tail, there was absolutely no damage done. A few servos are loose in there, like that one, and that's it. It looks really bad through the camera, but trust me, a new fuselage, and this thing will be back in shape. <clears throat> Thanks to Park Zone, because they have parts and everything. So the wing, this plane is pretty durable. And uh, so I'm going to take you outside now, now and show you exactly what So here's the standard runway area. Um, <clears throat> You know, I'm usually staying out there and we go flying in and land like that, coming in from another house. I was, that's where it all occurred. I was up there flying literally like this for my approach because the wind was blowing this way. So I needed to fly around and come down through those trees and land on the rest of the street. So while I was up there right above the tree lines, this bird, because it's a hill, there's a drop off over there, or kind of, uh, no, there's actually not, that's the tree line over there now. So because there's another neighborhood over there. So the bird came flying this way, flying north, and knocked my plane out of the air. It hit like this, so the plane went like this, and then went straight down, full throttle, and hit that part of their house. It was a huge echo throughout the entire neighborhood, and it was just dead silence after that. So, uh, yeah, there was, uh, I was flying, coming around that way, the icon, clipped the wing, spiraled down full speed, tried to recover it, and went straight into that roof right there.